Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is March 12th, 2020. Um, we're still alive despite COVID-19 coronavirus threats. And today, Stefan and I are heading out to visit our new, for now boat, and we're gonna let you know which one we got. So, get ready. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. So ladies and gentlemen, we went with the Janelle, which you probably already guessed because we're in an enclosed building and it's pretty much the same as it was in the video. So today, it's cleaning time, so let's get started. So the plan for the day is? Uh, cleaning, measuring. And organizing. Learning. Yeah, we already had one problem when we first already got learned. on. Huh? You already had one problem? Well, I had forgotten or didn't know that there was a second switch for the cabin lights. But oh. I don't anyway. know why there's a second switch for the cabin lights. That may change. Anyway, we brought a bunch of stuff. We're cleaning and going through and measuring. Um, so I'd anyway. be interested to see if we actually have a barbecue grill because there are two half-empty bags of barbecue briquettes on here. And I don't know why. But we, we haven't seen a grill? I haven't seen a grill yet. Maybe it fell off. All right. Well, to work. Currently, today is March, Friday the 13th. Again, full-on coronavirus uh, going on, COVID-19. Um, we have a couple other trips that we might be canceling, but we had to come and visit our boat today. Um, we're pretty much self-isolating in the boat. Um, our boat currently resides at Riverside Marina in Racine, Wisconsin. Um, right off of the Root River, and it's living in like a heated shed, which you probably could see from the other videos. Um, eventually, it, we're going to get it water tested here. We've already had all the other you know, tests that you get done when you buy it, but it was frozen tundra when we bought it, so the rest of that, just the engine test is really all we have to do, and that's going to happen here, hopefully sometime in April. We'll get it splashed, uh, get the engine tested, lift it up, put it on a truck, and have it transported over to our home marina, which is in Bayfield, Wisconsin, right on Lake Superior. Um, theoretically, we could sail it home, but sadly enough, Stephen, neither Stefan nor I have enough PTO to um, weren't taking that much time off, so we're going to get it over to our home marina, and once um, ice is out there, we'll get it splashed there and start our sailing adventure. Okay, the first thing we're going to clean today is the head. It's a huge head. If I go back you can kind of see. I'm just going to go through and see everything that's in there. what we're doing today, taking off the old registration numbers and putting our registration numbers on. Stefan already did one side. We got a little scraper tool, but we forgot the drill. But we did bring the heat gun. Actually, this is a lot better because I think that thing on the drill, when I've seen them demonstrated, they create a lot of dust and, you know, because it scrapes it off in tiny little bits. This way I warm these up a little bit and they come off pretty much in one piece and then we'll goof up, goof up on the adhesive. Really so it seems like it was a fortunate absence. Well, we can still use it for the other one, so I'm not going to take everything off today. Yeah. But I really want to get the registration stuff as well. Have fun with that. I'm back yep. to cleaning. Next, after the head, so the head's right there. Now we're moving on to this hanging locker. It's a nice big hanging locker. It came with all of its contents, and they left us quite a few um, 
Life jackets and other miscellaneous stuff. So I'm gonna dig all that out and clean her up. Um, apparently the bathroom here is a little scary. This is the journey back to it. I can't imagine it's that horribly bad, but Stefan says it looks like it's out of a horror movie. There's no light. Oh, there's no light? So. Oh my god. Just hold it there for a second. It's, gotta, it's not focusing. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I think it's the tape and stuff that really... Here, come over this way. I mean, this is just like a room. I mean, it's very... It's fallout. 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 Yeah, it's like, you know, if you play Fallout, it's very Fallout-esque. Well, it'll make it more spooky. I mean, this looks like a body was stuck in here. Yeah, so like you can see, that's just a locker with, and it's all just empty lockers in here. Shut it on the next this, one. This was Big Daddy Johnson's locker. Yeah, Big Daddy Johnson. Next to Louis Morado. I'm not sure why it's making that weird noise. I think it's water dripping down. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Do they have an actual sit-down toilet yeah. for well, for I the mean, ladies? I'm not sure if any of these are. I'm not sure. Well, I'm gonna find it. They um, have that one. I think we might just hover over. There's, I think this is the one that's like an active use. So. See the that, or you can walk back over to the store. Okay, I'm good. I'll just I'll just pee in there. I'm gonna go through everything, but. Seeing what's in each of the cupboards. Really not a lot left in here, so we're gonna have to get some kitchen supplies, but we have plenty of stuff at home. Figure out where we're gonna put stuff. We Stefan made this model thing of our anchor because we wanna get it, we want to get this rock net anchor. But we were concerned because of the placement of the navigation lights. So that's why he made the model so we could test it. And it was a valuable thought experiment because, as you can see, he'll show you. So, see that little sticky uppy thing point that was hitting the nav lights? Yeah, so that's really like a bow, like, how does it come out in reality? Yeah, so it would definitely be a problem with the nav light. So we're either gonna have to get a different style of anchor, type of anchor, or do something with the nav light. So anyway, it's always good to test your anchor, I guess, and not just assume it's gonna work. Next, we're gonna go through the nav station and everything that's in there. Well, that was unpleasant. Just tight. Well, just cause like, I'm like, I couldn't get far enough back to, you know. Alright, well I guess that's the liquor cabinet. Looks like it's got liquor sized bottle holes right oh, yeah. there. Well, I guess that's it then. Oh, this. I don't know what that is for. Like, yeah, I just put that back in there. Pilot. This is NEMA 2000 stuff. Okay. There's other stuff, I, and I have it on inventory, I just have it on tape that's right. in here. I'll go through it. Did you see this thing? For the compression post. No, what is it? Oh, yeah, leave that up there. <laughs> what is it for? That's the wiring for the... Uh, mast? For the mast. Okay. Okay, this is the... That's the main cabin. Also known as Stefan and I's cabin. So it's right off the companion way by the nav station. And it's got a huge bed. There's also a lovely mermaid picture on the wall to decide whether we're going to keep that or not, I guess. Kind of a mess because we're going through everything. Anyway. Back to it. This is the point in the day where Kelly plugged the microphone into the camera incorrectly. Hence, the video for the rest of the day has no audio. So for your viewing pleasure, we're going to watch it in high speed. And you can see us doing things like continuing our inventory, measuring for future projects, checking out the engine, and various other tasks. Hope you enjoy! We're going to 
bring all their sails home. Guess we have eight sails. All the sails down there and all the crap we gotta load into the car. And then we're off. Alright, well, we're locking up and going home now. We didn't get quite as much done as we wanted to. But, such is life. Soon, soon, we'll be able to have it in the water and actually take it out. As long as everybody makes it through the coronavirus, I guess.